take you through a warm-up series here. You can do this anytime, anywhere, before lifting, before cardio, before any exercise or workout you're going into. Let's start by lifting up your knee into your chest. Give yourself a big squeeze here, knee hugs. If you've done classes with me, you know the drill because this is pretty much what we're going to do today, knee hugs. So you can do five per, uh, 10 per side, so a total of 20. And then I'm just going to directly take you into the next one. You'll be going into a reverse lunge, so step your foot back. Um, this is easier on our joints versus forward lunge, and that's why we're going to start with reverse. And while we're here, let's might as well adding a twist to warm up our spine here. Step back in, lower your hand back down, and bring it back up, just so we also get this joint warm up here, okay? So side view, you will look like this. Twist. Keep a tall chest, open up your shoulder blades backwards. Engage your abs. When you come up, squeeze your glutes, starting to fire up those glutes. Okay, so we'll go eight per side here while you are warming up. Then the next one, we're gonna go into a toe touch. Basically kicking forward and swing your hands around to warm up those shoulder blades and try to touch your toes. That's it, if you don't touch your toes, that's okay. The only thing I don't wanna see is this. See how my back is rounding? That's super bad for your back. So keep your spine tall and just reach towards your toes. You can bend your knees if you want to, but really we're working your hips and working your shoulders right here, okay? Keep your core tight. That's it, 10 per side. Then the next one, we're going into a hip rotation, external rotation, just coming out like this. <clears throat> just eight to 10 per side. Then we're gonna come in, internal rotation, eight to 10 per side. Okay, and then keep your feet hip distance wide, bend your knees, knee circles. Make sure, starting slow, forward, side, back, okay? Side, forward, side, back, side. Then slowly making that smooth transition here. Five to 10 rounds and then reverse to the other side. And then moving up to hip circles, again, side, front, side, back. And then slowly moving that into that smooth transition. And then reverse once you've done five to 10 reps. Right? Then over here, oh, we forgot about hamstrings. So bring your feet super wide, parallel with each other wider than your shoulders, arms out into a T, squeeze your glutes again, starting really working those glutes already. Reach towards your toes, windmills. Coming out in between, squeeze your shoulder blades back, squeeze your glutes, okay? 10 per side, and then come back in. You know, do your hip circles, knee circles, arm circles, yeah, there you go. and then switch again, eight to 10 rounds, and then you'll switch directions. When you're doing that arm circle, making sure you're rotating that shoulder blades all the way through. When you come back to the back, you should feel that shoulder blade back there engaged, okay, when you go back. And then bring forward, arm circle this way, and reverse after you've done about 10 reps. Okay, next one, we're gonna warm up our elbows. You hear me say, throw on your glasses. How, see how my shoulder is barely moving? It's basically staying in place, but I'm rotating through my elbows. Imagine you have some glasses and you're throwing it on, okay? Let's say eight to 10, then take them off. Take those sunglasses off and throw them on the ground. Then let's go to your neck. And if you have a bar, then you can do 
your shoulder, warm up your shoulder even more, up and down with the bar in your hands. And you can even go sideways with that bar. Okay. I do have a bar, but it's in the other room, so I won't leave you hanging. And then the next one, you can go into your head, side to side. Again, maybe 10 per side. Then we're going to tilt side to side. When you're tilting sidewards, look towards the other side. So now my hand's tilting right. I'm looking towards the left top corner of my eyes. Really tilting. Okay. Lucius is building Legos and you're hearing him trying to open plastic bags. You want to tell them where you're building? No. Okay. Right? Again, 10 per side. Then we can go into inchworms. So hinging at the hip, a good motion you can do is chop. Chop where that, that line of your hip is. Chop it. That's how you hinge, right? Hinge at the hip. Keeping a flat back by drawing your shoulder blades up and down. Keeping here, then hinging at the hip, going down. Keeping that flat back. And then from here, you're going to walk out. Do one push up. And then walk back in. Flat back up. Squeeze your glutes again. Again, hinging at the hip, going down. One more push up. Breathe out when you come up. Push the ground away from you. Come up. Okay, you usually do about five to ten here. Um, then do your jumping jacks. Let's say 30 to 50, okay, depending how many you want to do that day. If it's your easy day, do 30. If it's your harder day, do 100, yeah? Okay? So that's it. You can alternate the jumping jacks into mountain climbers or any lower impacts, um, cardio. You don't want to start off with high knees or squat jumps because that's a higher impact. And your body is not really, really warmed up that much yet. All right. So if you have any questions, post below. And thank you, thank you guys for watching. Bye.